Joining us now is New York Congressman Richie Torres. Congressman, thanks so much for taking the time uh, out of your day. I think before we get started with any conversation, we just need your reaction to what's been happening. First, what happened in Israel and now what's going on in Gaza? Look, I'm in a state of shock. Um, October 7th was the deadliest terrorist attack in the history of Israel. It was the largest mass murder of Jews in a single day since the time of the Holocaust. And the psychological effect of October 7th you know, is reminiscent of 9-11. It's reminiscent of the shock that all of us felt as Americans. And so I feel strongly, you know, Israel stood with the United States during 9-11, and we have an obligation to stand with Israel in its moment of need, in its 9-11. So what role do you think the United States should play in supporting yes. Israel? Well, look, we should provide Israel with whatever funding and equipment it needs to defend itself. You know, Israel is the victim of a deadly terrorist attack. Uh, thousands of Israelis have been murdered and wounded and abducted, raped and otherwise terrorized. And Israel has a right to defend itself. You know, Israel is doing exactly what we would do if we as Americans were under attack. Let's talk about the House for a minute, because it, it does have implications of what's going on right now, aid to Ukraine um, and aid to Israel and such. But th there is no speaker yeah. in the House right now. And you have called what happened, uh, you, you said, a Republican coup. So what's happening with Republicans in the House? Look, the, never in the 234-year history of Congress has a Speaker of the House been removed from power. And without a Speaker, there's no ability to pass legislation. There's no precedent for passing legislation. And so the House is in a state of paralysis. Now, the Republicans control the House. The burden falls on Republicans to select a new Speaker. But there's no telling how long that process will play out. And so until then, everything's at a standstill. But the the Republican Party is at war with itself within the House, and it's creating a dysfunctional, ungovernable House where the inmates are running the asylum. You know, we went from the longest speaker vote in more than 150 years to a near default on the nation's debt, to a near shutdown of the federal government, to the first ever overthrow of a House speaker. So there's been nothing but chaos, crisis, and confusion. Well, amidst all the chaos, crisis, and confusion, there are a lot of people, specifically here yeah. in New York. New York City is home to the largest population of Jewish people yeah. outside of Israel. Your congressional district is in the Bronx. They're worried right now about their own safety. How concerned are you about something happening here? Look, I think history tells us that when there is violence unfolding in the Middle East, um, it often leads to a surge in anti-Semitic incidents. Um, and anti-Semitism has been a problem long before the conflict in, in Israel. Um, even though the Jewish community represents 2% of the population, it accounts for more than half. It is the target of more than half of all religiously motivated hate crimes. So anti-Semitism is a problem that we have to confront at its root cause in the United States. It's been reported that the Biden administration is considering a bill packaging both aid for Israel and Ukraine. Um, I know that may not be what certain Congress people want, yeah. but it is what may be happening. Could you support it? Uh, I mean, I would support it. It would encounter resistance from Republicans, but I would support it because I'm convinced if we allow, you know, if we withdraw aid from Ukraine, there's no doubt in my mind that Vladimir Putin will slaughter Ukrainians. We will see horrifying crimes against humanity. And if Vladimir Putin takes over Ukraine, there's no reason to think he would stop there. He would continue invading more territories that would ultimately draw in the United States. Can we as a country do both? Oh, we're the most powerful country on earth. People look to the United States as the leader of the free world, and we have a moral obligation to protect people from crimes against humanity to the extent that we can. All right. New York Congressman Richie Torres, thanks so much for taking the time. We appreciate the insight. Absolutely.